Hi, I am William Michael Barbie, writer, director, producer of the movie Beyond the Silence, Clip Wings They Do Fly. On behalf of my entire production company at Prestige Media Productions and Barbie Group Films, we would like to extend a heartfelt condolence on the loss of your son, father, grandfather, brother, and friend. Rodney wasn't only a friend to me for the past 36 years, he was my brother. To my production team, he was our director, our producer, acting coach, liaison, mentor, facilitator, spiritual advisor. He was our genius that God blessed us with. It is because of Rodney Gilbert's legacy that we are better at what we do. He was our conscious voice on set, always reminding us to give our all and walk with purpose. I walk with purpose because it was Rodney who helped me to define my purpose. I'm forever grateful. What we decided to do over the next five minutes is compile what we've gathered 40 hours of footage on just Rodney. Rodney's genius at work and at his best, making the actors better. Even his display of talent has come across on the screen. But we compiled five minutes of his genius and we want to share it with you. So once again, we want to thank you for your support and to extend our sincere condolences once again to the Gilbert family. And as a personal note to you, Rodney, I thank you for making me a better man. Thank you, my brother. I love you, will miss you. And may the grace and mercy of our Lord be with you. Peace. Days have come and gone for me. Life's breath too short. I just can't believe. That is all now. It's all. Daddy! Oh, Daddy! My bright and skies are gray. It's cold. Take me away slowly. God, that's great. That's my book. You're showing it. All these things are showing it. That she flipped. Like, it's like, I'm on the floor. Oh, I need to go sit down. Oh, okay. Um, so you're going to get back to me. Then you get distracted by something else, and I would assume that they was in your seat or whatever it was. Get, get out. Yo, you're not going to take nothing from me. You get that, you get comfortable. She like 122. That was your objective. And you drop your papers. Do you drop because you're disorganized, or do you drop because there's people talking to you up here? You know? It's like, all right? Otherwise, you're a normal man. Gotcha. And this is a normal movie, and we'll go get Jens at watch. As someone's life is at stake, so the stakes, that's what I mean, the stakes are high. Well, they should be, or I shouldn't be watching them. I mean, life is short. I'm aging gracefully. I submit my closing argument. Thank you, Mr. Kessler. Hey, Roddy, another thing I want to tell you is that, you know, without you, the film would never, would never have happened. Because you organized, you were the overseer, you were the HNIC under Michael. Uh, but the fact of the matter is, you treated us all with respect, but you also got things done on time in an orderly fashion. You have great organizational skills, and at the same time, the ability to be kind and professional. So. Thank you for that also.
So maybe we still, that is needed. I don't want everything, and I could be wrong, I need to look at it in a sequential order, that it pulls away from the arc of why you wrote all that, and it segues into the poetry that you know what mental illness is without us going, bam, stupid, bam. Like, what's that? Just make sure we break it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So good. Goodbye. I'm gone away. Gone away too soon. Keep me warm. Not run past it, but get through it. That's right. God bless. God bless. God bless. God bless. I got it. Why did you have to say God bless? Man? God bless. I got popcorn. I was eating all that in the popcorn. Bishop. This Love you all. To be at the table with people of color, engaging in an artistic endeavor that's a film that is not about this. No hood film. You know, like that's the only thing that we can do. We're, we're talking about a mental disorder that people of color, we don't look at our health issues, especially when it comes to looking at men of color with mental issues. God is always in charge, I believe, of what what happens and how people view it and what they take from it. But it, it, it works on so many levels. Don't document that. <laughs>